Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, February 20th. John Baker is with us. Good to have you here, John. Paul, my pleasure. It's yeah. always good to see you. And it's, it's after the first of the year now. You were you were here last year and you're talking about uh, the Community Foundation of Central Missouri and Como Gives. How did it all turn out? It turned out great. We had 100 and I'm sorry, not 100, 802,647 dollars donated through the campaign. And in how December. much cents? Uh, well, that's it. For, well, okay. cents. I think 36 actually. All right. So correct. give us that total again. 802,647 and 36, I believe it is, cents. That's amazing. Yeah. That's all amazing. in the month of December and a little bit in November with Giving Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Good so, campaign. W- you were pleased with this. We were pleased with that. Our goal was eight hundred thousand, so we just squeaked by. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you did a little bit more than squeak by. But how many, how many uh, separate organizations is this helping now? We had one hundred and twenty-two this past year. We started with thirty just six iterations ago, five years ago, and uh, took in sixty-two thousand that first year. So this one at eight hundred and two was. That's quite, quite a bit. Quite it's a quite bit, a bit. Yeah. Word, word has spread. Yeah. But why, a good time. Yeah, but why is, why is it so important for our community? In your own words, tell us. Well, philanthropy is important in general. That's the word that I use. Charitable giving, that's a way to look at it. I like to think of the word philanthropy because of the meaning of the word. Phile, if you've been in church or you've done your Greek studies, it's love. And anthropos, the second half of that word, is humanity or the social connections or community or the realm in which we live. So philanthropy is, you know, that love we have for the people and the world that we live in. And giving to that, to make it more civil, to make it more, uh, have its needs met, to make it more peaceful, helpful, education, seek the truth, all those good kinds of things I think happen a lot of times with philanthropy and private gifts for the public good. Mm -hmm. And this is an organization that takes your money and helps it grow also. Yes, the Community Foundation of Central Missouri is the parent organization of Como Gives. That's just a product or a service that we do. But our main work is the establishment of charitable funds, either assets given by individuals, such as yourself or me, or assets given by a business or a group of people, or a nonprofit organization, but the assets are donated. They are invested over time and then returned for okay, these let, philanthropic let ask, services. But when you, when you say assets, it mm-hmm. doesn't have to be just money, right? No assets. See, that's the thing. Uh, a average person's family wealth, for example, is about six to seven percent in cash. The other ninety-three to ninety-four percent of an average family's wealth is in the other things that they own: in real estate, their house, their automobiles a privately held business, appreciated securities, retirement accounts, all of those kinds of things, insurance policies, that's the other 93 to 94%. So mm-hmm. how does somebody donate a house? Let, let, let's say if... Uh, I knew you would ask this. I, okay. <laughs> let's say uh, the, hu- the, the wife has died. Okay, the husband had died several years ago. The wife had died, and she decided... Uh, that she wanted in in the will, she wanted to leave everything she had: the house, uh-huh. the property, the car, uh, the furniture, the silverware, the the uh, cutlery. Everything goes to the Community Foundation of Central Missouri. How do you take that and realize money from that? Well, that would be tough if they gave us the whole kitchen sink thing like you've just described but it could it could and we would then find someone who would act as a custodian over that estate there would be some fees assessed for the extreme amount of work that we required to do all of that but the the bottom line would be everything that could be sold would be sold for as high a price as could be garnered and then that amount of money would go into a fund as intended by that donor. So have That's the way you it ever works. had anything like that happen? Not like that, but we've had gifts of building, for example. And so we receive a gift of a building. We then sell that building, and then the proceeds from that sale go into a fund. Okay. Mm-hmm. Until you sell that building, though, are you responsible 
is the foundation responsible for the taxes on the building? Yes. Okay. Right. And oftentimes, before this happens, there's realistic discussions as to how this is all going to work, how long things might take. And sometimes there are negotiations with the donors who will then front some money as well to help pay taxes, to help do insurance policies, those kinds of things. Yeah. Each one is different. Each one has its own characteristic, and we work with each donor that way. But you would more than welcome uh, a donation like that. Oh, sure. Now, we won't accept all of them, mind you. Oh, you won't? No, we don't have to take anything. We will look at it. We'll see if it's something that's marketable, something that's in a good location. You know, if it's in an environmental problem area, we won't want that. That's not good for us, not good for anyone. Uh, So there are stipulations. We do have restrictions as to what we can and won't do. And our board ultimately votes to accept or to reject a gift of real property like that. Mm -hmm. Now, how many years has uh, the Community Foundation been around? We have just started. uh, Actually, we're two months now in to our ninth year. So we've completed eight years. Over this time period, do you have off the top of your head how many, how much money you have raised and how much you've helped in this community? A little bit. We have taken in almost uh, $9 million in, in uh, individual donations. $9 million. Uh-huh. We have granted out uh, from our funds about $3 million over that same period of time. We have uh, established about 110 to 15 individual, what we call component or segregated funds. This is where someone like you or me would want to establish a fund from which we do our charitable giving. Um, about 100 of those still remain. 15 have run their course. You know, that's all part of the business. Mm-hmm. Um, we have done the Como Gives on top of the grants that I've just mentioned. And Como Gives has distributed almost $2 million into the community in the six seasons that we've had that. So that's around $5 million just in these eight years that has been plowed back into the community. That's so somebody amazing. says, John, why why use the Community Foundation instead of open up a donor-advised fund with Vanguard or Schwab or Charitable? And one of the main reasons is, number one, you get personal service here locally. But secondly, any fees that are assessed on that kind of work is plowed right back into the community for more good nonprofit okay. work to keep so going. So you have, you have pushed in to our community at least $5 million. Yeah, I would say plus or minus. Now, some of our grants have gone beyond the local community, but yeah. that's where the money has come any from, way you and look most at of it. it has gone there. Mm-hmm. Any way you look at it, I mean, that's, that's really good work. It's great it's, work. It's good for the community. It's good for all of us. Mm-hmm. If people want uh, more information about the Community Foundation of Central Missouri, what do they do? They would uh, look us up on the web, which is cfcmfoundation.org. Cfcmfoundation.org, or search for Community Foundation Central Missouri, okay. or call us at 573-817-5027, especially those who might want to open up a donor-advised fund. I would love to talk with them. A donor-advised fund. Next okay. time, Paul. You're looking for a donor-advised <laughs> fund. Okay, well, next time you come on, we'll talk about that. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, uh, Columbia Art League and Founders Day. Drop me an email, something you'd like like to hear or see, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.